Gary Cooper was one of Hollywood's most iconic leading men. Known for his rugged good looks, understated acting style, and enduring legacy, he appeared in more than 100 films throughout his career, including some of the most memorable and beloved classics of the golden age of Hollywood. In this video, we will explore the life, career, and legacy of Gary Cooper, from his early beginnings in Hollywood to his rise to stardom and enduring impact on the film industry. Through a look at his most iconic performances, personal life, and cultural impact, we will gain a deeper understanding of why Gary Cooper remains a beloved figure in Hollywood history and a true American icon. Chapter 1. Early Life and Career Gary Cooper was born Frank James Cooper on May 7, 1901, in Helena, Montana. He was the oldest of two sons born to Charles and Alice Cooper, both of whom were English immigrants. Cooper's father worked as a lawyer and Montana Supreme Court justice, while his mother was a homemaker. Cooper attended school in Montana and eventually went on to study at Grinnell College in Iowa. However, he left college before graduating to pursue a career in Hollywood. In 1925, he landed his first film role in The Thundering Herd, a western directed by William K. Howard. In the following years, Cooper continued to work steadily in Hollywood, appearing in a variety of films in supporting roles. He gained notice for his work in films such as The Winning of Barbara Worth and Wings, which won the first-ever Academy Award for Best Picture. Cooper's big break came in 1929 when he was cast as the male lead in The Virginian, a western directed by Victor Fleming. The film was a major success and helped to establish Cooper as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout the 1930s, Cooper continued to star in successful films such as Morocco, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, and The Lives of a Bengal Lancer. His naturalistic acting style and rugged good looks made him a popular choice for roles in westerns and other action-oriented films. By the 1940s, Cooper was one of the most popular and highest-paid actors in Hollywood. He continued to star in successful films such as Sergeant York, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor, and High Noon, which is considered one of the greatest westerns of all time. Despite his success, Cooper remained humble and down-to-earth and was known for his professionalism and dedication to his craft. He continued to act in films up until his death in 1961, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's greatest actors. Chapter 2 Iconic Roles Gary Cooper was known for his versatile acting skills and ability to take on a range of roles, but he will always be remembered for several iconic performances that helped to establish him as a Hollywood legend. One of Cooper's most memorable roles was in the 1941 film, Sergeant York, directed by Howard Hawks. Cooper played the real-life World War hero Alvin York, who received the Medal of Honor for his bravery in battle. Cooper's performance was widely praised, and he won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of York. Another iconic role for Cooper was in the 1952 film High Noon, directed by Fred Zinnemann. Cooper played a small-town sheriff, who must face down a group of outlaws who are coming to seek revenge. The film is notable for its real-time structure and intense tension, and Cooper's performance as the determined and courageous sheriff earned him another Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Cooper's work in westerns is also a major part of his legacy. He starred in several classic western films, including The Virginian, The Westerner, and The Hanging Tree. His naturalistic acting style and commanding presence made him a perfect fit for the genre, and his performances helped to redefine the image of the Western hero. In addition to his work in dramas and westerns, Cooper also showed his comedic side in films such as Mr. Deeds Goes to Town and Ball of Fire. He was able to bring humor and wit to his performances while still maintaining his trademark charm and sincerity. Overall, Cooper's iconic roles helped to establish him as one of Hollywood's greatest actors, and his work continues to be celebrated and studied today. His ability to bring humanity and depth to his performances, as well as his natural charisma and charm, made him a beloved figure both on and off the screen. Chapter 3. Personal Life Gary Cooper was known as a private and reserved person, but his personal life was still marked by a number of significant events and relationships. Cooper was married twice, first to Veronica Balf, a socialite he met in New York City. They married in 1933 and had one daughter together, Maria. 
However, their marriage was reportedly tumultuous, and they divorced in 1935. In 1936, Cooper married socialite Sandra Shaw, who was also known by the stage name Sonny. They had one daughter together, whom they named Maria, after Cooper's first daughter. Cooper and Shaw remained married until his death in 1961, and their relationship was said to be loving and supportive. Despite his reputation as a Hollywood heartthrob, Cooper was reportedly shy and introverted in his personal life. He enjoyed spending time at his ranch in California, where he raised horses and cattle, and he was known to be a devoted family man. However, Cooper also faced a number of challenges in his personal life. He struggled with health issues throughout his career, including chronic back pain and a bleeding ulcer. In addition, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in the early 1960s, which ultimately led to his death in May of 1961. Another significant event in Cooper's personal life was his decision to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee in 1947. Cooper, along with other Hollywood actors and filmmakers, was asked to testify about their alleged ties to communism. Cooper's testimony was seen as cooperative and non-threatening, but it still sparked controversy and criticism from some of his colleagues and fans. Overall, Cooper's personal life was marked by a mix of triumphs and challenges, but he remained a beloved figure in Hollywood and beyond. His reputation as a dedicated actor and devoted family man continues to inspire and influence generations of filmmakers and audiences. Chapter 4. Legacy and Impact Gary Cooper's impact on Hollywood and the film industry cannot be overstated. He was a trailblazer in the world of cinema, helping to define the image of the classic Hollywood leading man and shaping the evolution of the film industry throughout his career. One of Cooper's greatest contributions to film was his ability to embody a sense of authenticity and naturalism in his performances. He was known for his understated acting style and ability to convey deep emotion without resorting to melodrama or exaggerated gestures. This approach to acting helped to pave the way for the rise of method acting in the 1950s and 1960s and continues to influence actors and filmmakers today. In addition to his acting talents, Cooper was also an important figure in the business of Hollywood. He was one of the first actors to negotiate a percentage of a film's profits, and he used his clout and influence to advocate for better working conditions and higher salaries for actors and crew members. Cooper's legacy also includes his work as a cultural icon. His image as a rugged, handsome cowboy and heroic soldier helped to define the American ideal of masculinity and inspired generations of actors and filmmakers. He was one of the few actors to successfully transition from silent films to talkies, and he helped to shape the evolution of Hollywood during its golden age. Even after his death in 1961, Cooper's impact on Hollywood and the film industry continued to be felt. He was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960, and his films continued to be studied and celebrated by cinephiles and scholars around the world. His legacy as a true Hollywood icon endures to this day. In conclusion, Gary Cooper's impact on the film industry cannot be overstated. From his iconic performances to his advocacy for better working conditions in Hollywood, he was a trailblazer who helped to shape the evolution of cinema in the 20th century. His influence continues to be felt today, and his legacy as one of Hollywood's greatest stars remains secure.